Okay, so we're first going to start out with our number eight hook. Go ahead and crush down the barb. Make sure that lays down nice and flat. Okay. Perfect. Before you do anything, you're going to need to take your head cement and just put a little dab of glue on the hook and this will just ensure that your thread which you're going to be using gel spun so it's extremely slippery will actually stay stick to your hook you've got that nice and coated so now i'm going to take my black gel spun and i'm going to start wrapping here at the top of the bend of the hook and it doesn't have to be you know too exact just give it a nice wrap don't go all the way to the very end i want you to save some room so you can tie on those brass eyes so hook, wrap it all the way to the eyelet and back to the tail. Okay, so at this point, you can cut the tag end. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. So now you're going to take your four strands of gold flash. Go ahead and fold that in half. And place the loop end towards the head end of the hook. Like so. And we're going to wrap the flash to the hook. At this point, you can go ahead and cut the loop end of your head flash, like so. Now you're going to take your piece of marabou and go ahead and give it a good dunking so that those feathers can lay down flat and it can be manageable to work with. Okay. You're going to measure your marabou twice the length of their hook's body. So one, two and go ahead and give it a wrap all the way down to the tail once you're done with that go ahead and cut the excess feather and we're going to do a wrap back forward so we can tie on our chanel there we go you're going to take a piece of olive chanel, about four inches, lay it along the length of the hook, leave space for those brass eyes. You're going to wrap it all the way back to the tail. And once you get to the tail end, you want your thread end to be on the opposite side of your chanel. Go ahead and lay that thread down. Take the chanel and wrap opposite of the thread up the length of the body. Okay, once you're done with that, go ahead and do a spaced wrap with your thread along the chanel. Back up towards the head. And do a couple wraps here at the end so it stays in place while you cut the tag end off. Okay. Now you're ready for separating your flash and tying on the wings. So go ahead and flip your vise over. Four strands on one side, four strands on the other. And you're just going to tie them in such a way that they are back towards the vice grip. Put a few good wraps on that. Okay, those are in place. Now you're gonna take your feather, and this is just an olive green grizzly hackle feather. And you're gonna go ahead and just lay it along the length of the vise. You still want it to cover the hook, but you also want it to be in line with this angle here on the vise. So that's a 
looking about right. There we go. So I've got my measurement. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the feather. And cut the second feather, the same length. We're building our wings on our flying cat. There we go. Now we're gonna tie on each wing separately. Just is a bit easier that way. So go ahead and line up the first ring, get the angle right. And you're gonna do a few wraps here and secure it on. Okay. Now you're gonna take your second feather. Again, angle him just so. And do a few wraps here. And you're gonna have to make your fly look pretty, so let's just cut some of this excess feather off. Okay. And you really wanna make sure that those feathers stay on there, so you do have to do quite a few extra wraps for good measure, so about six to seven wraps or so. And once you're done with that, you're gonna turn your fly back over. Looks like I missed one. Okay, we're almost done. Now we're gonna tie on our brass eyes. This is why you left all that space in the front. So now you've got the brass eyes. You're gonna do a figure eight loop at first to secure your brass eyes on. Okay, and also you're gonna to wanna to build a cone here at the nose to keep the brass eyes from slipping forward. So maybe six wraps or so there. Do another couple of figure eights. And tie a few wraps at the back of the head. And so you have to be sure that you're gonna do a really hefty job of wrapping the eyes so they don't shift, because that does tend to happen. So really build that collar on the back of the head, really secure those eyes on. So I'm gonna do a few more wraps for security. You just really have to do extra wraps here on the head because these eyes will rotate if they're not secured on properly. So I've got my wraps done, and now I'm gonna take my whip finisher See, they're still rotating, so we're going to have to put quite a bit of head cement on there so that those eyes don't shift around. So after I'm done clipping the tag end, I'm going to really put a lot of head cement on there. So top and bottom, and go ahead and use whatever tool you have handy and just smooth that out. Okay, so our final step is we're going to roll the vise over, clip the wing flash. And you want to clip it just so that it's slightly shorter than the wing. There we go. And the tail flash. Again, making it just slightly shorter than the actual tail length. And this is your final flying cat.